We're gonna begin by assembling our base. Essentially, I'm just taking a scrap floral stem, adding some hot glue to it, and then we're gonna place that on top of the brick of floral foam. After that, you can combine your two bricks. Now we're gonna come back in with even more hot glue just to the back of one of these bricks. And this is the brick we're gonna place on the bottom of our container. And we'll just place that right in the middle. So this container and all of the greenery you can find from nickseasonaldecor.com. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut off a stem and I'm gonna have a piece about this long. I want my topiary to be nice and tall. So add a generous amount of hot glue to the top of your bamboo stick and poke it right into a styrofoam ball. We're gonna begin by prepping our greenery. So this greenery from our website comes in plastic sleeves. We're gonna just remove that plastic sleeve and depending on the greenery that you purchase, some of it is easily able to be lifted up and that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna pull this greenery to the surface. So once you pull it to the surface, what you can begin doing is just snipping off the stem. You don't actually need much stem in the end. You're only gonna need about half an inch to an inch. Any more than that, it'll become really difficult to insert into the ball. Now we're gonna add hot glue to the ends of our stems and all we're gonna do is simply and solely poke them right into the ball. There's no rhyme or reason for my placement. I'm just trying to create an equal shaped uh, sphere and you might have to come back in with a piece or two to fill in, but it's really easy to assemble these things, you guys. Very, very easy, and it's already taking shape. Look at how pretty that's already looking. So this greenery is a eucalyptus, which kind of gives the same illusion as boxwood. So I finished one side of the ball, and I flipped it over, and now we're gonna do the other side. This is how the first side looks, and look at how pretty that already is. So just wanna complete the ball. However, if you're placing this somewhere where you're only seeing one side of it or three sides of it, by all means, skip the back. So, so far we've used a total of six of these. Let's come back in with a few more to finish it up. So now that we've given this ample amount of time for it to solidify, it's not going anywhere. And notice that I already poked in a hole using the other end of the bamboo skewer. We're gonna take our scrap stem with some hot glue and just apply uh, I don't wanna say a very generous amount, a very light amount of hot glue. We don't wanna overdo it. A little goes a long way with keeping the moss in place. And clearly this part can become messy, but look at how pretty that already looks. So now let's work in our topiary as well as a few pumpkins. Now we have our topiary and I'm just gonna find that hole that I already made. I only went in a little bit and now we can go in all the way. And now that's nice and secure. So now let's accent this with a few pumpkins. So as I said before, you can switch this out for each season and holiday. And an easy way to do that too is create an everyday topiary and then work in a few seasonal touches like these pumpkins. Now we can just work in a few fall leaves for some added fall decor. And you can make this as simple or as complex as you would like. So now let's give you the grand reveal showing the entire topiary. And here is how our topiary turned out. I absolutely love it. And truth be told, you guys, this was very budget friendly. You can make these for $10, $15, $20, depending on the greenery you use. Dollar store styrofoam ball, a bamboo skewer from the garden, and that is it. So very pretty and easy to change out for each season and holiday. This 18 inch styrofoam cone is about the tallest you will be able to find. What I'm going to do is I took a scrap of styrofoam and fit it down in here and I wedged it really tight like so and now I am going to set this right on top. Now I cut some little wedges of styrofoam. I didn't want you to listen to that screeching so I turned that off and I'm just going to tuck them right in here until that is really really secure. So it passes the test and we are ready to start decorating our topiary. The next thing you're gonna to want to do is you're gonna to want to head over to um, the Dollar Tree and pick up one of these garlands. And what I'm going to use to secure this is called an S-pin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this and go around my cone here kind of loosely and pin it to, pin the garland to the cone. Not gonna worry about it being really thick because we are going to build this up with all of our fall decorations, but this will help get us started. As you get up towards the top, it's not going to be thick enough to handle the S-pins, so 
Um, you're going to have to make sure that you push them down, not straight through, or they're going to poke out the other side and poke into you. So I'm just gonna start. Um, I've got some pretty fall silk flowers and I am just gonna go ahead and poke this right into my foam tree. Now, if you don't have one of these fancy pick machines, and I probably should say these expensive pick machines, I wanna show you a couple other ideas for what you can do. One of the alternatives is wood wired sticks, okay? They look like this and you buy them in a bunch like this and pull them out. What you do is you put the wood wired stick up next to your stem and you take this wire and you wrap the wire around the stem really tightly and around the green stick. And the important part is at the end, you must wrap it just around the stick at least a couple of times. And then that won't come off. See, I can stick this right in. Okay, so here is a leaf that has just a stem that's not firm enough to stick into our styrofoam. And what we're going to do, we only need a little bit of this skewer. And we're gonna put that stick right up next to the leaf. And then we're gonna take the floral tape and wrap it around the leaf and around the skewer. And you're gonna stretch and turn it. And now you will be able to add that really easily to your topiary. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep building this up. I will use a combination of my steel pick machine and the skewers. And again, I have some things like I bought some of these little pumpkins. They almost, they almost look like garlics, don't they? Um, that I'm going to add and they are on a thick enough a stiff enough stem that I can just put them right into the foam like so. All right, and I'm, so you can watch and I will just go ahead and keep building up our topiary. So I thought I'd pull in here and show you how I'm finishing this up. The important thing about this is, is that you are happy with how it looks, okay? I, whenever I'm teaching anyone, I always say, um, if you don't like how it looks, particularly when you're working with artificials like this, take it apart and start over again. Nothing, nothing would be ruined. You, you could just, like I said, take it apart and start over again. Um, there's nothing that says you have to leave it the way it is. So, and you can see it coordinates with my other items on my mantle just beautifully. I'm so happy with how this turned out and I'm really glad I added the bittersweet around it. I think I'm going to have to add some bittersweet to my centerpiece here. And uh, interesting thing, this centerpiece on the mantle was actually over my door, over my front door last year. But here you can see how well it coordinates and the other end just has a couple of pumpkins stacked. So I hope you liked this and you are inspired to start getting ready for fall yourself.